guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be in Lightroom and it's going to be all about how to correct darker skin tones in Lightroom. So I have had quite a few requests for this video after I did my last tutorial on correcting skin tones in Lightroom and it's a slightly different process, pretty similar but there are a few differences to paler skin tones uh, and correcting them in Lightroom. But I wanted to go through this with you guys because I think it's pretty important just to know a couple of tips when correcting them in Lightroom and it's really just a few sliders that we do need to look at in terms of removing a little bit of the saturation and brightening up the skin tone or darkening the skin tone if need be. So I'm going to go straight down into the panel that I'll be working in and this will pretty much leave off from where I left off in the last video. So if you haven't gone and seen that video yet it might be a good idea just to go and check that one out just for the basics. But I'm going to go straight down to the HSL and color tab. So this is the main area that I really like to work in when we're correcting skin tones in Lightroom. There's not too much uh, control I feel that we have in Lightroom sometimes with correcting skin tones and I feel like this is probably one of the better ways to do it. However, there is more than one way to do it and usually I would say that I use Photoshop most of the time for any skin correction but I do understand like I said in my last tutorial that there are people who primarily use Lightroom as their uh, workspace of choice so I'm going to go and do a quick tutorial today on how we can do this in Lightroom so I usually like to with darker skin tones work with both the red and the orange in the luminance tab so in my last tutorial I worked mainly with the oranges but I do find with deeper skin tones the reds tend to be a standout color and I usually like to work with them a little bit more so I'm gonna bring down the luminance in the red and this is going to deepen the skin tone a little bit more. I usually deepen the skin tone even more if it's a darker skin tone because a lot of the time in studio sessions especially, the light can actually wash out the skin tone a little bit too much and make it appear a little bit too pale. So I am going to move down the reds and we're going to deepen it up even more just to kind of give it a bit more contrast as well and really give Ayana's skin that really nice glow as well. I'm also going to move down the orange because that is also another color that is prevalent in a deeper skin tone. So we're just going to move that probably around about there. And you can see the difference that that's made. That's the before and that's the after. So I just really want to get that depth back in the skin tone here with using those sliders. And I find that luminance is a really good way to do that. The second thing I'm going to do is go across to the saturation tab. Now, like in my last tutorial, I went to the orange tab mainly, but the reds, once again, we're going to work with a little bit here. So we're going to bring the saturation down a little bit because a lot of the time, skin tones that come back in photographs are usually a little bit too saturated, generally for my liking. I mean, everyone has their different point of view on skin tones and obviously on color grading. I tend to find that a lot of the time it's it's just a little bit too saturated. So I usually bring them down a bit, both the red and the orange tab. Not too much though, because if we do this on any skin tone, it is going to make the model look a little bit sick or a bit tired. So we're going to make sure there's still a bit of color in the model's face. So I'd probably say the red more so desaturated than the orange in this case. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Now I'm going to go back up to the highlights in this tab here, and I'm going to pump them up just a little bit, just to kind of give that little bit of brightness back in the highlights and I'm also going to move the contrast across so we kind of get that little bit more depth between the highlights and shadows. I'm also going to scroll down now to vibrance as I did in my last tutorial and bring that down just slightly a few notches. And you can see that it's really made a difference in her skin tone. I'm going to do a quick before and after now of Ayana's skin tone and I'll show you guys just what those few adjustments have made. So that is the before. So we're looking at the skin tone here and it is looking a little bit too orange I feel and a bit saturated. I'm going to show you guys the after now. And you can see it's just brought the skin tone in a little bit. It's a little bit darker, a little bit deeper. I'd probably even pump up the highlights maybe a little bit more and the contrast just a little bit more as well. I also tend to work with the clarity in sharpening up uh, the pores as well and I find that that does help a little bit just to push that up a little bit more. 
And I want to let you guys know as well, usually I will work with raw images in Lightroom. However, I'm currently on a holiday in New Zealand. I'm camping and unfortunately I don't have all my hard drives with me. So I actually don't have the original raw images of Ayana's shoot on my computer at the moment. So I'm working off JPEGs. I would usually not do this just so you guys know. It's usually always with raw images. The quality does tend to be a lot better and you have a little bit more range with the coloring that you're working with. So I'm also going to just pump up the shadows here though as well, just for the hair. But mainly we are working on the skin tone here. So I'm going to do another quick before and after and show you guys the comparison side by side. So you can see the difference that that's made, just those few adjustments in the human saturation uh, tab. So usually saturation, luminance, I usually work with the most when it comes to skin tones in Lightroom and also the highlights, shadows, and contrast, and vibrance. I find that they're really important, and also a bit of clarity for a little bit more of a sharpen. So you can see the difference between these two. I find that the highlights are that little bit sharper, but also the skin tones a little bit deeper, a little bit less saturated, and a little bit less washed out, I think, overall. I personally prefer this look of the skin tone and keeping that depth, and I think that that's sometimes hard to do when you are working with studio light sometimes. It can tend to wash skin tones out depending on what setup you have, and usually it's quite easy to correct this in Lightroom or Photoshop. So this was just a quick tutorial today on how to correct darker skin tones in Lightroom and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was nice and easy for you and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please click the subscribe button and remember to click the notification bell as well so you can see all of the videos that I have in future. So thank you guys so much again for watching and let me know how you like to correct skin tones in Lightroom or in Photoshop for that matter and feel free to comment in the comment section below and let other beginner photographers know how you like to have your process in those workspaces. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.